Welcome to the fourth part of multiple choice questions. The questions. Suppose the technology for producing personal computers improves and at the same time individuals discover new uses for personal computers so that there is greater utilization of personal computers. Which of the following will happen to equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity? The options. Price will increase. Quantity cannot be determined. Price will decrease. Quantity cannot be determined. Quantity will increase. Price cannot be determined. Quantity will decrease. Price cannot be determined. Well, these are the options. C is the correct option. Quantity will increase. Price cannot be determined. But why? We shall examine. Look at these graphs. With improvement in technology, supply increases. In all the cases, the supply curve S shifts to right. The new supply curve is S1. With discovery of new uses for the personal computers, the demand for the computers increase. The demand curve shifts to right. In all the three cases, the demand curve D shifts to right. The new demand curve is D1. But the extent of increase in demand and increase in supply differ in all the three graphs. In the first graph, that is in the left extreme graph, increase in demand is greater than increase in supply. In this case, price increases from P1 to P2. Quantity increases from M1 to M2. Well, in the second case, the increase in demand is exactly equal to the increase in supply. In this case, price remains unchanged. But quantity increases from M1 to M2. In the third case, that is, look at the graph given at the right extreme. Increase in demand is less than increase in supply. The price falls from P1 to P0, but quantity increases from M1 to M2. If you examine all the three cases, the movement of price is unpredictable, uncertain. But one thing is certain, that is increase in quantity. Whatever be the extent of increase in demand and supply, the quantity increases. So, our option C is absolutely right. Quantity will increase, price cannot be determined. The next question. Which of the following is not a condition of perfect competition? Options. A large number of firms. Perfect mobility of factors. Informative advertising to ensure that consumers have good information. Freedom of entry and exit into and out of the market. C is the correct answer. There is no place for advertisement in perfect competition. Informative advertising to ensure that the consumers have good information is not a condition of perfect competition. Which of the following is not a characteristic of a perfectly competitive market? Options. Large number of firms in the industry. Outputs of the firms are perfect substitutes for one another. Firms face downward sloping demand curve. Resources are very mobile. Option C is the correct answer. Firms face downward sloping demand curve is wrong. It is not a characteristic of a perfectly competitive market. Firms have perfectly elastic demand curve. It is parallel to the x-axis. 
Which of the following is not a characteristic of monopolistic competition? Ease of entry into the industry, product differentiation, a relatively large number of sellers, a homogeneous product. D is the correct answer. In monopolistic competition, there is product differentiation. Products are not homogeneous in nature. Monopoly may arise in a product market because a significantly important resource for the production of the commodity is owned by a single firm. The government has given the firm patent right to produce the commodity. The cost of production and the economies of scale makes production by a single producer more efficient. All the above. Option D is the correct answer. All the above. Next question. Oligopolistic industries are characterized by a few dominant firms and substantial barriers to entry. A few large firms and no entry barriers. A large number of small firms and no entry barriers. One dominant firm and low entry barriers. Option A is correct. A few dominant firms and substantial barriers to entry. Price taking firms, that is firms that operate in a perfectly competitive market are said to be small relative to the market. Which of the following best describes this smallness? The individual firm must have fewer than 10 employees. The individual firm faces a downward sloping demand curve. The individual firm has assets of less than 20 lakhs. The individual firm is unable to affect the market price through its output decision. Option D is the correct answer. Each firm is contributing an insignificant part of the total output. So, any change in output by a single firm will not have any significant effect on price. For a price taking firm, marginal revenue is less than price, marginal revenue is equal to price, marginal revenue is greater than price, the relationship between marginal revenue and price is indeterminate. Option B is correct. Marginal revenue is equal to price. Monopolistic competition differs from perfect competition primarily because in monopolistic competition, firms can differentiate their products. In perfect competition, firms can differentiate their products. In monopolistic competition, entry into the industry is blocked. In monopolistic competition, there are relatively few barriers to entry. Option A is correct. In monopolistic competition, firms can differentiate their products. The long-run equilibrium outcomes in monopolistic competition and perfect competition are similar because in both the market structures, the efficient output level will be produced in the long run. Firms will be producing at the minimum average cost. Firms will only earn a normal profit. Firms realize all economies of scale. Option C is the correct answer. Firms will only earn a normal profit. With this our session ends. We shall meet in the next session.